It is a smooth four-hour drive to Jackson, Mississippi from Memphis, Tennessee. The city is well built but laid back compared to other states like Memphis and Atlanta. Just within town, you get to see the International Museum of Muslim Cultures, the only one of its kind in the history of America that was opened in 2001. Close to five months after the museum was opened, the U.S. was hit by terrorists on September 11th, a vilified action that left the management pondering its next move. Uh, the next morning we came to work, you know, a brick had been hurled into our window, smashing the glass. Uh, but interesting enough, we got a whole new influx of visitors. Uh, ministers came with their congregation and support of the museum. Despite the attack, the American government continued to promote equal rights for all. You know, we have uh, uh, a couple of Muslims, you know, in Congress now. P municipal, uh, uh, local levels uh, of government. You have judges, you have, uh, you've had mayors. Inside the museum are the great contributions of Muslims to the Renaissance in Europe, America, and the world at large. According to the museum staff, Islam's advent stems in Mali, propagated by Tom Kutu, whose legacy contributed to civilization. After the death of Muhammad, around 632, 7,011 Muslim soldiers crossed from Morocco to Spain due to Christian invasion, but Muslim doctors were the first to separate the science of pharmacy from medicine. Uh, so what that says is that that helps us now, as African Americans here in America, to now reassess what our children think and believe because I'm, I'm an educator. And when you press African American children to be scholarly, to take serious their academics, they will tell you, many of them, is that that's acting white. But also another contribution of Muslims to the world is Arabic numerals or algebra to zero, which was introduced by India. It was uh, the Indian people of India but it was the Muslims that took that zero and included it in this Arabic number system. But almost the entire museum is filled with contemporary African art pieces, regalia, and traditional belongings of Muslim legends, among others. For example, this is a leather material picked from Mali that was used to make yogurt and chan ghee during the ancient times. The pieces displayed here also originated from other countries like Ghana, Bilad Sudan, which have immensely contributed to the American culture. If there's one, uh, one, one God, one humanity, so men and women, all men and women are thus equal before this, you know, one God. They're equal and they're free agents. And they all are responsible, you know, for managing. But American Islam stems from Mali, which demonstrated the spirit of hard work that goes with passion and ingenuity that transcends into great things but brings society together. These children, men and women, are at work like mites, and from mud, they managed to erect the, the biggest Muslim and celebrated and mud mosque in the world, Jen. The mosque prayer hall, which has 90 wooden pillars supporting its ceiling, can house as many as 3,000 people. One of Islam's core values is respect for all humanity and brotherhood across all divides. But this phenomena has seen so many challenges in the recent times, and it is dying out. Due to the past and present colonial influences around the world, some of the Muslim extremists use the religion that promotes peace for all to get the wrong message of extremism. By way of the Prophet Muhammad, who is, who is supposed to be the example for Muslim, there is nothing in the history that would actually support that. When Muslims arrived in Spain, they utilized the books by interpreting them, and in history, more Qurans have been burnt than the Bible. There is but one creator. And so, thus, there's one humanity. History has also shown that the Muslims invented the art of paper making and made sure they preserved all the written pieces they came across. Because if Muslims had burned those books, we wouldn't have the Greek classics in the West. The International Museum of Muslim Cultures in Jackson, Mississippi, remains a great symbol and a center of learning about Islam to demystify several negative myths about the religion. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.